So joining me now is Kwajo Oseo Asare of Wonderful. Penn State University. And you are the winner of the 2022 MRS Impact Award. That's correct. Congratulations. Thank you. And I was reading about it, not just about scientific excellence, but mentoring, diversity, yeah. right. communications. Right. And um, that's such a great aspect of this field. How did you end up going into this and how is that a part of all the work that you do? Research, ultimately, is about communication, right? If you find a new thing, you have to share with the community. And you always have to, or even teaching, is about communication. And you always have to ask yourself, given this particular context, given this particular audience, how should I get across the point I want to make, right? Uh, but I think that part of it is also my background. I grew up in Ghana, and uh, my high school uh, was the first which was co-ed. And so one of the founders, uh, he came up with the logo, which is the piano keyboard. And he went around saying that if you want great music, you have to play both the black and the white keys. Likewise, if you want a great nation, you can't just educate the boys. You have to educate the girls. If you want to have a great nation, you can't just pay attention to the rich children, but also the poor children. For me, uh, it's very important. I almost cannot help myself, right, to just do one thing, because I know that uh, other things are also important. And I was reading about the mantra in your talk, when a single tree encounters strong wind, it breaks so yeah. I, meaningful, I think. It's Tell related. us about what it means. It, and is, it, is, it is related. Yeah. In fact, uh, uh, you know, my, one of my, my experiences in Berkeley had a very, also very influence on me, besides my experiences in high school, right? I did both my bachelor's and uh, master's and PhD in Berkeley. And uh, uh, I remember when I went to Penn State, my first proposal to the NSF, the National Science Foundation, the reviewers were saying, can't be done. This, this will lead nowhere. This has no merits. And uh, I had the opportunity to write a rebuttal. And during the time when I was trying to think through how I was going to write a rebuttal, one of my first graduate students saw a paper and he shared it with me. And I looked at it and I said, yeah, you're right. This solves our problem. It gives me the experimental data I need to support my program for the future. So obviously, even there, I was not a single tree in the forest. My graduate student was part of the forest in which I was operating. And that has been the story of my career throughout. Uh, my professor at Berkeley, Doug Fresno, is now in his 90s, and we still commiserate. He imparted in me and his group the sense of academic familyhood. Yeah, it's almost fundamental to the success of each person here. It's that family. Here in Hawaii, we call it Ohana. Ohana. Yeah. So I think it's very important um, to emphasize that. And I think that's yeah. what well, you reflect. I want my students to always remember that it's not just about them. It's about us. We could talk about this forever, but we only have a very limited time. Yeah. But I appreciate you sharing well, your insight. Uh, thank Kwajo. you very much. And congratulations Memory. again. Well, Keep up the you. great work. Thank you. Um, we need educators like yourself to help lift the next generation. Well, thank you very much.